Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Hey I hope everyone. you are all oh, keeping hi. well. I know it's been a while since you've last seen us, so yep, yep. thank you so much for joining us. Yep. And if you haven't seen us already, I'm Isaac. Yes. And I'm Isabella. My name is Adelaide. And I'm Yukman. And we are the Choi family. If you are new to this channel, feel welcome. Pop a comment down below, let us know where you're from yep. and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the bell yep. so you do not miss another video and, and if like you do like it, and like, like it, it. Like, yes. it. like it. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to hit it off with a QA. and a First question to you all, mm -hmm. so if the house were burning down and you could rescue one thing purely based on sentimental value, oh. what would you rescue and why? Okay. So, uh, do, you, do you want to go first, Isabella? What would you uh, rescue if the house was burning down, God forbid, uh, and you had to get one thing uh, that was really precious, what would you get? Uh, our Christmas stuff. Our Christmas <laughs> stuff. Oh, <laughs> Belle, Belle. See, that means a lot to Isabella, doesn't it? There has been tons. We need to decorate it for our house. Well, if the house was burning down, that would be melting. So, apart from rescuing everybody else. Yeah, yeah apart from rescuing everybody yeah. else, yeah. Um, for me, I'd rescue a memory card with our photos on because for me, photos are precious to me. I love looking back at all of our family photos. Who would be on your Mount Rushmore for timeless favourite musical artists and why? You can pick no more than four. So do you know okay. what Mount Rushmore is? No. So basically it's a mountain, famous mountain in America, where they've got like famous people, I think they're presidents. But they're saying like, <laughs> for for your statue, which would be your favourite artist? Hey, Bella. Bella, who's your favourite musical artist? Yeah, who do you enjoy watching or listening to singing? Or what uh, songs do you like? Uh, do we, yeah, maybe that's probably easier uh, for us, isn't it? Are you telling the song we need to bear with? Uh, I can show you the world, that that's her favourite song. Uh, and let it go. And let it go. Elsa, chosen. And and um, show yourself. Show yourself. Another frozen one. And, and into the unknown. Into the unknown. Elsa frozen again. <laughs> oh, Belle, Belle, they're great choices. They are. So you I can like only pick four. Four. Yeah. Oh, Up you to four. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Michael Jackson. Okay. Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Bruno Mars. Good artists. Eyes are good choices. I like you've got a bit of old school, older artists. You and you've got artists. more college artists. I like that. How about you, babe? Um, I think, um, firstly, Queen. Yes. Because I just didn't know they had so many good songs. You know. oh, so yeah. Queen. Oh, yeah. can, Queen. I, can I have Queen too? Okay. okay. I've got that. Yeah, yeah go for it. Thank you. Uh, Queen, um, Tupac, because of his you know deep lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, I would Tell have... <clears throat> Michael Jackson, that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so who would I pick? Definitely Whitney Houston. Oh my gosh, love, love, love Whitney. Why? Because she has got like one of the best voices of all time. Amazing songs, ballads, Queen. She's just like, oh, she's amazing. Aretha Franklin, speaking of Queen, Queen of Soul, Gospel, amazing, love her. I'm trying to think, oh, Stevie Wonder, of course, Stevie oh my Wonder. gosh. Stevie Wonder, Isaac knows. <laughs> Stevie Wonder, like, listen, Stevie. I hope, I hope that we can see him oh, again live, you know. I'd love to see him again live. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the kids. I've never seen Because you know the, so know the songs and be singing along to the lyrics. I'd love nah. it. That's Next question. Next yep. question. What's the most important belief you want to teach or want others to teach today's children and mm. why? I feel like... Uh, Bella first. Uh, their numbers... Okay. And their letters. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's and true. Talented. Yeah, okay. that's very true. To 100. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Very good. And that's all. Okay, that's all. Well done, Belle. That's a good answer. Yeah. Because without them knowing these things, mm -hmm. you know, how are they going to read or anything yeah. like that? Very good, yeah. 
The Gospel! Yay! Hey. Absolutely, Isaac. That the Gospel is like the Bible, if you didn't know. It's like mm -hmm. the Bible, the stories, mm -hmm. you know, all of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the Gospel. So the Gospel, but what is the main Gospel? What is the Gospel when the, you say? The Bible. Yeah, so the Gospel of Jesus is mm -hmm. that he died for our sins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And rose again. Yeah. That we can have eternal life. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful answer, Isaac. Very good. Do you have a hobby or interest that you would love to get paid for? Ah, this is interesting after what you've just said, Isaac. If so, what is it? If not, what would you choose if you could choose anything? Okay. Better first. Uh, What's the Yes, Yeah, so to get money for, what would you love to do all the time that, you know, that you enjoy doing, like, on a daily basis um, that you can get money for as well? Um, so, then, some of my stuff. You'd like to learn mermaid stuff every day? Yeah. Okay. Wow, she wants to learn mermaid stuff every day. And get paid for it. Um, and get yeah, paid for it. Yeah, and get I'm sending it to a mermaid tail. Oh, she wants to get a mermaid tail to top it off. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isaac, what about you? So uh, what would you what would you do? What yep. do you have a hobby or interest that you would do love yep, to get paid as for? As I said, I love art. Yeah. And yeah, I I could do that every day, I think. Mm -hmm. What about you, babe? So I, think um, I know. Yes, yeah, so I've been really getting into videography and I've been starting to get into oh, wedding he? videography. Yes, he has. Actually. So, a little plug check out www.cabellaproductions.com yes. if you're getting married and you need a videographer. Yeah. yeah, or it could be for corporate or anything corporate, else, couldn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them is definitely interior design. I love interiors, I love, love, love sort of redecorating the house. I love it, it just gets makes me feel so alive. Um, the other thing, do you know what, I love recording YouTube videos, so oh, yeah, for me it's something that I absolutely love, like sometimes you, on my other channel, Adelaine Choi, <laughs> um, I'll pop a link down below, <laughs> so I absolutely, I just feel so excited when I do it, and with a family one of course, it's not like I can just record all the time because we have to all be available, but if I could do it every day, um, I'd absolutely love to do that every day, get paid for it, yeah. So the next question. Yeah. Tell me about a powerful moment in your life when you overcame a fear or did something despite being afraid to do it. Mm. There's quite a lot of things that I haven't overcome, like fear of heights, mm -hmm. fear of dolls, clowns. <laughs> oh, but I would say, so when I was younger, mm -hmm. I was less confident speaking with you know, people I didn't know and things like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas now... I feel like I've overcome that, where I love speaking with people that I don't know. Listen, like people, carry on. People in the streets. So much. <laughs> just random strangers. Yeah. More than me sometimes now. Yeah, yeah. She, she's originally the outgoing one. Yeah. And you, I, th I still think you are. Yeah. But, um, but then you I've really come, have come show massively. That. This is a good one. If you, would, if you won £5 million pounds in the lottery, what's the first thing you would buy? Oh. Isaac, Isaac knows the first thing we buy. Go. A house. A house. A private jet. Oh my gosh. Isaac knows uh, what he buy. Okay. Those are two first two things. Uh, what about you, Bob? Um, I would buy houses for all of our family. Yeah, that's exactly what that was my. That was my. No, forget mortgages, buy them new houses. Yeah. Same here, we've both always said that, haven't we? That's, that mm. would be like a dream to be able to pay off everyone's mortgage. And of course, get ourselves a house as well, and um, give to church as well. Um, yeah, that would be me. We okay. need the private jet. Pardon? We uh -huh. need the private we jet. We need the private jet. I oh, know the private jet for me. I'm not interested. I would be interested in a private jet, you know. I'm you know, I'll take all my family, friends, all on a big, massive holiday. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, loads yeah, of stuff. Can do yeah, that lots of holiday. Jet. I know, but I think that's what I would. You go your, your answer's the private jet, mate. I'm the, yeah. <laughs> we all have to fill out. Yeah. 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 Why is that you want the private jet there? So next question, if there were one word or phrase you hear people say a lot yeah. that you could remove from the English language, mm -hmm. what would it be and why? Oh, too many. <laughs> my, lots of oh, so many. Go on. My one would be one of them would be uncle. I don't like the word uncle. You just sound, you don't like the word uncle, really? Like just uncle. Uncle. Really? Uh, no uncle. way. Uncle. Oh, I think it's so lovely. Apple. Apple. Okay. But my main one is when people say, yeah, I'm just being real. 
Yeah. And they use it as an excuse. Like, they, they'll be really mean and horrible. Mm. And they'll just say, yeah, I'm just being real. Yeah. But do, being real doesn't excuse you from yeah. being horrible. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's me. I think mine, I've got, there's a few. One of them is, I'm not being funny, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you are being funny, yeah. Well, I'm not racist yet. I'm not trying to be racist, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The other one was, I'm humble. Oh, <laughs> if you're saying that you're humble, you're not you're humble. Not humble. You're not humble. <laughs> yeah, you, you mean I think you, you, other people will tell you if whether you're humble or not, but if you say that you're humble, it, doesn't mean you're it, humble. it makes you actually less humble, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. Um, yeah, there are quite a few, but I'll let you guys go first. What's if the I worst think. swear? I'm not going to tell you, am I? Oh, yeah. Uh, the F word. Okay. I'll remove that from the English language. Yep. Yeah. Good one, Isaac. Good, good, good. Bella, what would you say? What words don't you like, or what don't you like when people say certain things? The devil that I... That she said... The, the devil... Mm-hmm. Uh, from my soul, and mm -hmm. obviously said, I don't like to do hair. Oh, yes. Oh. So basically, there's a girl from Isabella's nursery that said, I don't like your hair. So, of course, Isabella couldn't understand because she loves her hair and she knows her hair is amazing. Um, but then what's the funny story, quick funny story, is that I went to the nursery we could actually go in for a stay and play. And then Isabella stood up and said, in front of everybody, Mummy, that's the girl who said she doesn't like my hair. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, okay, okay. That's funny. But I thought, you know what? She, she wasn't happy about it. She exposed her, so. What's the most important thing you've learned from your mum? Okay. Wow. Most. I'll ask the kids, let's get the kids to answer oh, yeah. this actually. Come on, what have you learned from mommy? Um, uh, to love everyone. Mm -hmm. Whether they're good, nice, family, friends, mm -hmm. stranger or danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know that that has a limit in terms of, you know, you're not going to be like hugging random strangers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to like throw it out there. <laughs> Anything else, Isaac? Just thought um, I'd fish for another one whilst it's about me. <laughs> um, oh, I, I know one. Mm -hmm. You can always count on mommy to have a hug. Oh, that's sweet, sweetheart. That's lovely. Um, my mum, gosh, she's taught me so many things. So, definitely kindness to everybody. Um, it goes a long way. There's a phrase that they use. I think it's very much a, quite a Jamaican phrase. I always say manners is free. And, um, yeah, to always have manners. So, you know, your please, your thank yous. You don't have to pay for it. You know, it's just really important. And um, another thing my mum's always said to me as well is that if she ever had like a, an issue with somebody, um, you know, never to treat that person any differently. So she said, you know, in life, you never know who's going to be there for you um, in life. And especially like, you know, you don't want to think about it, but like when your parents have gone on, that person could be there for you as well to help you in life in whatever situation. So she said, whatever issues she's ever had with anybody, don't treat those people any different or what have you. Um, yeah, because that's between her and whoever it is. Not that my mum has issues with people, but that's just a phrase she's always, that's always stuck with me. Yeah, what about you? I don't remember much of what my mum's taught me. Oh, okay. But one thing stands out. Yeah. Like one thing that she did say was, um, the more hopeful you are of something, the more disappointed you'd be if you don't get it. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> oh, but maybe she's so trying to say that's not very really positive. It makes but sense. I, I think though, what she's, I think don't the, the positive, yeah, don't set yourself up for disappointment. disappointment. Yeah. In the same way, it can just lead to you just not having dreams. Do you know what I mean? Mm, but true. I think work hard, but don't be overexcited un until you get it. Ah, got you. Okay. I'm sure it could be translated into a positive thing. What characteristics in me do you most admire? And in what ways do you think these characteristics also exist within you? Ooh. So, I'll start with you. Okay. So, I really Aww. admire mm -hmm. your, your lovingness. Like, you, you, you show true love. And Aww. some people think love is just like a fuzzy, warm, fuzzy feeling and butterflies that you feel. But it's not mm. that. You know, like, you show patience. You show... Mm. Um, caring, um, oh, you show you. 
putting others, putting us before you. So, yeah, for me, you show true love, and I really admire that about you. Oh, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, for me, I'll start off with you, Isabella. So I would definitely agree with Daddy. Isabella is a very strong, yeah. determined, defiant character. She stands up for justice. She's like a, I'm not having that, you know, if something's not right. She'll and speak stuff, up. She'll speak up. She's not yeah. afraid to speak up. She'll defend you to the ground. <laughs> you know, she'll fight for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bella is a very much a no-nonsense yeah. person. Um, and we get to see that, and yeah. I've got the pleasure. Yeah, she, she definitely speaks up for herself. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> yeah, and I admire that in her. And what she's taught me is that these sort of traits can be you can you can definitely um, sort of learn some of these traits, and you can say, right, I want to be a stronger person. But some people are just born with these things. And that's why when you see certain things in people, it's good to aim higher in life and want to change certain things and not just accept that, oh, this is just the way I am. But some things are just God-given gifts. And Isaac, I would say Isaac, um, I really admire Isaac. Well, actually, with both of them, I admire them. In, I'm blown away by their vocabulary and they're just the very smart children. So I'm just like, wow. And some of the things that they come out with and Isaac comes out with, I'm like, wow. This is like, again, a gift because I'm like, how do you remember that? Or some of the words of Isaac comes out with these little nuggets of wisdom and he'll be sitting there and be like, mommy, I've written lots of them down. I'll have to find them and maybe pop it at the end. But yeah, I've just been blown away by that. I'm, I'm really, I love, you're such a kind, caring person. And if, if Isaac, Isaac will correct us, if, for example, we've said something or done something, as much as he loves us and he would fight for us, he would he will correct us if he thinks that we've done or said something that's not right. And it's good that you can feel comfortable to great. do that. Because yeah. in some households, like, you know, children aren't meant to do that. They're or, seen or, and not heard. Yeah. So, thank you for doing that. Thank so, you, sweetheart. And he does it with respect and love. So he does, yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. Um, within him. Yitman is very, as much as he said he's not very patient or what have you, but Yitman is very, very selfless. So he's so kind and thoughtful. Like, he's the sort of person, if he saw somebody drowning, and even though he's not the strongest of swimmers, Yitman's the sort of the person, and he's already said that he'd jump in, and I'd be like, wouldn't you call someone that is a stronger swimmer? But he's like, no, I, I couldn't, he wouldn't be able to live with himself not helping that person. And I think that shows great selflessness and kindness. He's got a huge heart. And Yitman is, yeah, and he puts us first as well. He's such an amazing dad and husband. I literally, I know this, we're not meant to be going about this, but I couldn't wish for a better husband and a father mm -hmm. to my kids. Honestly, he's so selfless and kind and he'd rather not have and us have. And yeah, I think that, yeah, I just love you to bits oh, if you didn't know it. Too. <laughs> What's the most common characteristic you envy in people and why? Ooh. So what is it about other people that you like and mm -hmm. you wish that you were that oh. way or you had that? Mm. Okay, I wouldn't use the word envy. But then one thing I've always thought, wow, how do they do it, is public speaking. So as much as I'm on YouTube, I'm comfortable speaking in front of the camera. I'm comfortable speaking to people. Um, yeah, I love talking, basically. But when I go on the, if I go on like a stage, I'm not as comfortable. Mine would actually be quite similar to yours, but mm -hmm. I find like, oh, although, although I'm comfortable speaking with people, one-to-one -one in general mm -hmm. when it's a group mm -hmm. i kind of find myself going quieter and being more of a listener mm -hmm. so like you know when there's loads of people talking yeah depends who it is mm -hmm. but in general i tend to be quieter yeah so i wish that i was probably more comfortable speaking mm -hmm. in a group setting yeah i think maybe just confident in what i've got to say sometimes yeah i'm the same I mean. sometimes as well Depends who it is as well. Sometimes I'll be like chatting away. Oh, you, you're so, chatting about. <laughs> yeah. But then at the same time, if I see some people that are just loving almost the limelight, if they yeah. want to talk, I'll just shrink back because I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to fight for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say I wish I could um, speak up for myself more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in front of other people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We can help you with that. Maybe yeah, definitely. 
I think you do speak up for yourself. He does at home anyway. I feel like Bella. I do? Like how Bella is. Oh, you admire yeah. that in her. Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. Well, get Bella to teach you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bella's literally Bella fit. She's me. fearless, isn't she? She doesn't care who it is. Is even with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and that's why I'm saying about reining in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to do a bit of reining in. Quite a bit of reining in with you, don't we? Little Miss by a cracker. That's a wrap for us for that today. That's a wrap, absolutely. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, guys, and getting to know us a bit more as well, because we thought it's good for us to do together, because uh -huh. we love this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but and then, we're still always learning about each other as always, well. Always, yeah. Even though, you know, We've been married for ages and, you know, Needs we've known the kids years. since they've been born. You know, yeah. we're, all, we're all learning about each other. Yeah. So that's, that's really good. We hope you guys enjoyed it too. Yeah. I hope so. If you yeah. did, please like and subscribe and comment down below on what else you'd like to see from us. Yes. And if you have any other questions as well. We really enjoy doing this and I hope that you guys have too. So if you have, don't forget to click the like button, please. Yes. And if you thought it was okay, still press the like button. <laughs> <laughs> and with a smoothie. With a smoothie. Oh, with a smoothie, <laughs> yes. So this book, we'll link it down below for you guys to check it out yeah. as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Should we do the dance? Yes, oh yeah, the dance. Come on. this is the dance guys. I don't know if you can see us, but this is the dance. <laughs> 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 and Bella, you do it.